Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. You are welcome to a new video. I'm going to be making this style that you see on the screen right now using this fabric here. I got a request from one of the members of my group on Facebook to show them how to make this style. So this is what we're doing. The first thing to do is to first fold your fabric into two. I folded this into two and then I'm folding again so that on the side I'm going to have four layers of fabric. That's your first step. Now when you fold you want to make sure that you have enough. If you can see from that design you will see that the sleeve is built into the, the style. So you're not cutting a separate sleeve. So when you fold, you want to make sure you have enough to cover for what the sleeve will be. I folded this into four. I'm cutting the front and the back together. So the shoulder I'm using is 15 inches. That's the measurement of the back. So if you divide 15 in inches by two, you have 7.5. And then I'm going to add 7.5 more because over here is going to be the shoulder plus what we will use for the sleeve. So then I will leave an extra one inch. The one inch I'm going to be leaving here is going to be for the sleeve. I'm going to roll up the sleeve area here. The sleeve M is going to be one inch because I'm going to roll it in twice. So that gives me 15 plus that one inch will be 16. Now I'm going to measure for my neckline so that I can do my shoulder slope. So what I'm using for the neckline here is going to be 3 inches wide. And the depth is going to be different. For the front, I'm going to use a depth of 3 and a half inches for my front. Which is what I'm going to connect to this right here. If you have a curve ruler and that will help you better, you can also use a curve ruler to get your curve done. So I'm doing this first so I can do my shoulder um, slope. So for the shoulder slope, I'm going to do about one and a half inches. You can do one inch as well. I'm just going to do one and a half inches here. In neck width point, I'm going to slant it to this point I have right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to measure for the sleeve round. The sleeve round I'm using is 15 inches. And you know when you measure, you went around the sleeve. So we're going to divide that by 2. That will give me 7.5. And then I'm going to have up an inch at the top for joining the front to the back. So I'm going to factor that in. Plus at the uh, bottom here, I'm going to be joining it. I, I need a seam allowance too. So you factor the seam allowance at the top and the seam allowance that you are going to use to join it on the side you factor that in and you can use one inch for that from here to here is my 16 inches just the same as i have it for the shoulder so what we're going to do next is we want to look for the um hip line so the hip line is you know you can take your half length Whatever your half length was, you had eight more to that or nine, depending on your height. So over here, the half length was 16 plus eight is going to give me 24. So I'm going to go down by 24 inches. And this will be my hip line. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to come down a little like two and a half to three inches further down from there because if you look at that style you will see that towards the end it has like a curve so that's what i want to form here using 40 a length of 40 so i'm gonna add one inch for the hemming at the bottom plus the half that i'm gonna use to join at the shoulder area that's one and a half inches more i'm gonna join that point together so I'm going to do the sides now. And remember that I need one inch for folding in the sleeve. We need one inch that we factored in to fold in that sleeve. So I'm going to take off that one inch because we are folding this in when we sew it. Right? So from this point, 
I'll go in another one inch. All together, I have two inches. So from this point, from the new point here, I'm going to join to my um, hip line that I have right here. So I just put a little cuff like that to that first one inch mark. So from this um, lower point, I'm going to extend this all the way down to the way I have the mark. Remember I did, I came in by this three inches. I say you can use two and a half just below the hip line. That's where I want to start to do my curve. So from that hip line, I'm just going to curve it in. neckline is going to be three and a half this way and then there's going to be a slit in the front and for the slit i'm going to use three and a half as well how we're going to cut this we're just going to first cut i'm not going to do the neckline first that's going to be the last part but i'll first cut the shoulder slope like that you just follow the markings and you just cut it like that just the way we have marked it you cut that out separate your fabric you cut the front separate so you cut the front um, neckline and then you put your slit to that 3.5 inches you just cut that straight a slit in there and then for the back it's going to be the same neck width so you may put a notch there to know or alternatively you can just measure the back and you're just going to measure the three inches. You do three inches by one. And that's what you connect for the back. To make the facing, you fold a piece of scrap fabric. And then place your fabric on that scrap fabric. And you just want to trace out the neckline and the shoulder slant. And then you measure how wide you want the facing to be. I'm going to use three inches here. And I'm measuring the three inches from the marking I made here for the neckline. That's where my three inches has been measured from. And then we just cut that out. For the front facing, we're going to fold these two. You just fold it into two. And then you place your cut fabric on this. But what we want to do right here is you want to make sure whatever fabric you're using for the facing for the front. Remember there is a slit in the front. So you want to make, make sure that your fabric we have at least three inches more after that slit. So I'm just going to trace the neckline and I'm going to trace the shoulder slant. And I'm going to mark where my slit is going to be. So we now measure our three inches or if you want to do more than three inches so at the bottom here i'm going to do like four inches just to give me more room over there so four inches there and then over here on the shoulder i'm going to do three inches and then you just want to connect that and we just cut that and then i need to do the the slit which I already marked, or you can remeasure it to be the same. We use three and a half. So I've opened that up. Then I'm going to do pocket. So what I like to normally do is I just slant my hand because when you put your hand inside your pocket, it's slanted. So I'm going to slant the hand and I'm just going to trace that out. 
I'm going to trace all around it. Again, remember you're going to leave a seam allowance. So I'm just going to cut that out. So this is what we have. So I'm going to make one more like this. So you take your fabric, put your interfacing on it, and you just want to go out so that across like that, you come down like this, and then you go up, you sew across here. For the back, you put that right there. You join the interfacing to the back. After you have joined that, you now take the front and the back together. With right side facing right side, you just want to sew the shoulder area like that, and then you sew the interfacing. And you want to do likewise on the other side. Next, you want to hem the sleeve by turning that in twice. So you sew that all across. Next, I want to use a top stitch. You don't have to do it, it's optional. But I'm going to do a top stitch all across like this. I'm just going to start top stitch that. Next, you have the pockets and then you want to join the sides like i'm showing you right now and after you've done that the last part for you will be to do the hemming at the bottom you'll have to turn that in twice depending on how much seam allowance you left see the description for how to join the pockets i do hope this video has been very helpful to you please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.